Hello, and thank you for joining me. My name is Joan Stenzler. I'm a communication specialist and empowerment coach and founder of Your Amazing Journey, an online consulting practice and holistic learning community. We offer content-rich workshops and retreats to individuals and organizations. Our focus is on teaching people how to communicate more effectively and clearly in order to form healthier and stronger relationships and make positive and remarkable changes in their lives. And I'm here today to speak with a wise and inspiring woman, Kathy Carew. Kathy, thanks so much for joining me. It's so nice to speak with you today. Um, it's a pleasure to be here, Joan. Kathy, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, I am a mother of two grown daughters. I'm married, living in New York City. Um, and I'm a retired writer and magazine editor. Sounds very interesting. Can you tell me when you first learned about the Women's Empowerment Incubator? Well, uh, as you know, you and I have been meeting together uh, for a few years and you had started talking about it. Um, this was an idea of yours that um, was extremely intriguing to me. Uh, the idea of getting women together to, um, to share, to um, support one another was just um, an idea that I thought was, was amazing. And I, and I was, um, Looking forward to being a part of it. What was your first impression of the idea of your being in a group where people shared um, pretty personally with one another and on a very real basis? I have to be honest uh, with you. I, I was kind of apprehensive. Um, I don't open up um, easily to other people. And so the idea of getting online with women that I'd never met before and then discussing my feelings was intimidating for me. Um, but we had talked about it for a while and I, and I thought, you know, let's, let's try it. And um, the very first meeting, it was just overwhelming how comfortable I felt. Um, everyone was smiling, everyone was so um, uh, open to uh, listening and to sharing, and I just felt very, very comfortable. So it was, it was not what I had expected. I'm so glad to hear that. I'm hearing you say that the experience was um, different than what you had thought it would be in a really positive way. Absolutely, yeah. Well, that's really the idea. As you know, my intention for the Women's Empowerment Incubator has been from the very beginning to create a safe and a warm and an inviting place for women of all, ba of all backgrounds, of all ages, to come together and share their common experience and to get to know one another. And in the process of doing that, create tremendous support for each other and in the process both receive benefit from the group and also have the opportunity to give to one another. What does that mean to you to be able to be part of that process? Uh, I have, I, it's meant a tremendous, uh, uh, it, it's a big deal to me because I have learned so much I wasn't expecting uh, what actually happened, which was this, this amazing uh, connection that we all found with one another. I mean, you mentioned all age groups and it really is true that every age group is represented in this group. And I was very surprised at how well we connected, how we felt this uh, bond and I would say this deep friendship um, I feel we've developed um, over the time that we've spent together. Um, there's something about, you know, listening to other people's stories, um, seeing how vulnerable they are and how willing to open up to the group 
And coming from a place where I didn't feel comfortable doing that, um, it's a testament to the power of this group and the intimacy that this group um, shares. And, um, and I feel very comfortable sharing whatever I'm feeling uh, with them and, and listening to them. Uh, it, it's extremely powerful to have that, that kind of support and, uh, and backup to whatever you're going through or, or want, to, want to discuss. Mm -hmm. So what I think I'm hearing you say is that the level of safety in the group and the shared reciprocal intentionality to show up for yourself and to show up for each other and to do so in a caring, a supportive, and I might even say a loving way has made such a big difference. Absolutely. Can you tell me a little bit about what you think um, was um, different for you in a way? about this experience and other experiences you may have had, getting to know people or interacting with people around a specific subject? So I feel that we all came together wanting to learn something about ourselves and wanting to grow. And we, we, we're reminded to listen to one another. And uh, that's one of the skills I've learned in this is, is, is listening. And I realized through learning to listen that I was not a very good listener and, and I'm working on that. So that's, and, and, and I think that will help my relationships everywhere to grow. Uh, but I feel that we, we came, we all came with this intention of, of growing um, and learning about ourselves and um, and, and, uh, you know, I mentioned it before this bond that I feel like we, we developed online. It's I, I never thought that that could happen, but I feel, feel very, very close with these women, uh, closer than, than, uh, than with people I've known for years. Um, so I think that also when we do the breakout groups, that gives us a chance to, to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with with uh, a member of the group and um and and you kind of the bond gets even stronger and you learn a little bit more about this person and 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 about their struggles or their their triumphs and and you're just rooting each other on in, a, in an amazing comfortable way the um the interesting thing about what you're describing is that most people who are attuned to the idea of being in therapy or getting to know themselves better, doing some personal transformation work, might not recognize there could be a place where this would be possible, where they'd feel safe enough to do this. Because usually when you're seeing someone for therapy, or when you're working with someone on some kind of personal transformation work, it takes a while till you feel comfortable enough to open up and share. And not that anyone in women's empowerment incubator just, you know, shared every single thing about themselves from the beginning. That's not the way it worked, but people were able to feel that they could when they were ready. Um, and I guess what I think I'm hearing you say is the level of safety and shared um, intention to come to this special online place to be able to learn about yourself and also support others doing the same. The intention for that and the safety that's been created in the way the group's been designed has made something that you thought impossible possible, which is to have these deep connections online, mm -hmm. which most people would never have imagined could happen. That's true. And I, and I, uh, you make a good point about you know going to therapy. You learn techniques. You learn um, things about yourself. And I feel like getting involved in this group took it to the next level. And I was able to come into this space where I felt safe and practice what I've learned and share what I've learned. And um, and it, it it kind of became maybe a lab. I don't know, um, 
where you, you get to actually practice this on people or with people um, who are open and, and um, compassionate. Mm -hmm. And, and it, it makes a big difference because then, then, then your degree of success is that much stronger. Mm -hmm. That makes a whole lot of sense. I like the idea that you're using the word lab because that's what we're actually doing. We have a space within which you can practice and experiment and see what grows. That's the reason why the group is called the Women's Empowerment Incubator. Mm. We're incubating ideas, we're incubating our potential and we're incubating transformation, which is something that we have um, sometimes have a hard time figuring out how to do. You know, we can think about it in our mind. I really want to be less uncomfortable with this situation, or I really want to leave my job and get another one, or I really want to, I don't know, have a better relationship with my family. But it's one thing to think about that as something you would like to be able to do. And it's another thing to be able to get the support and be in a place where you can flesh stuff out and then be able to put it into action. Yes, and, and also hearing everyone else's stories, uh, some of them are similar to my own. And so it's nice to know that other people have had the same experiences and just to hear what they have, what possibly has worked for them or what they're struggling with and just kind of be able to bounce um, thoughts off of one another. So it helps you to feel like you're not alone in this and you have a team behind you essentially that's waiting to hear what happened from the last time you talked about something and that's looking forward to hearing good news or there to be a support and um, offer feedback to help you move past some blocks that may have come up in the previous week or so. Yeah. You know, I know you well enough and I know how much you've worked. And I heard you say that one of the things that came out of your experience is that you learned that you need to focus on being able to listen better. Mm -hmm. I know, and I know you know, that there are many other things that you have been able to learn or to succeed with while you've been in the incubator. Can you mention a couple of other things? Sure. Um, my self-confidence has grown and um, that alone kind of sparks my communication, better communication for me with, with um, uh, people and uh, my motivation to, uh, you know, uh, perform tasks or it, it's just kind of like started a root system uh, uh, in, in other areas of my life that ha have, have, I can see there's a huge difference in the way that I um, carry on uh, in other areas of my life. Um, the other thing that, um, that I've learned is you know, listening to these women and some of the things that they say, one of them, th things like just kind of um, stick with me. And one of the things one week, um, one of the women said something about, I've, I don't know the exact subject that we were talking about, but she mentioned, um, I realized I don't have to feel that way. And I, I have a choice. And I thought about that and it was like an aha moment for her and it became an aha moment for me. And I started looking at things that happened that week that, and I thought, you know what, I don't like this feeling that I'm feeling. And then I remembered this, this member saying this and thinking, okay, I don't have to feel this way. Uh, what can I do to make myself feel differently? And so I just kind of started exploring it. And all of a sudden I could take a back seat and see this scenario happening. And, and I was able to get out of this negativity that I was feeling simply because I realized I had a choice. And it was just 
the words that someone happened to say. And it, so every week, every single week, I'm learning something new and I try to apply it uh, uh, during the following week and the weeks after that. And, and it's, it's, it's kind of mind blowing. That is so powerful that you took something that someone else said that it, it resonated so deeply with you and you recognized from a very deep place, like almost instantly, I don't have to continue having this experience. I can positively influence how I feel and I can positively influence what comes after that. And not only did you realize that, but you made a choice to figure out ways to actually shift the way you felt and change what happened next. Yeah, so that was probably the first time I've ever done that. And it was, it was like, wow, I did this. And, I don't, and, and all these years, I have allowed myself to go down that rabbit hole of negative thinking. And here I was able to recognize it and then, and then, and then pull myself out and, and then go on and enjoy the rest of my day. It was, it was very empowering. So I want to reframe what you just said. Okay. You've allowed yourself. When that kind of response has happened over time, it's not about whether or not you allow yourself, it's that you didn't have the awareness to be able to recognize that you could make a change and that once you had that awareness and you decided to try to put it into action, then you figured out that it worked. But until then, you didn't know that. And until then, you couldn't change it because without the awareness, it wasn't a change possible. And that's often the case with lots of people. There are certain ways people experience a situation or an interaction with a, another individual and they have this automatic way of responding that's been the way they've tended to respond over a period of time and based on you know, neuroscience and brain chemistry, what has happened is that there's a neural pathway in the brain, which is for that specific response to that situation. And there's literally a groove in the brain and what you are doing and what everyone that's part of the Women's Empowerment Incubator is doing when they cultivate that awareness and then say, wait a minute, I can see, even though I don't have it in front of me, I can see that there's another way to do this. And when you see that and then start putting into action, you're literally changing your brain. It's really very powerful. You're creating a new neural pathway. And as you continue to do that, that strengthens and the tendency will then be for your responses to be more aligned with a new way of thinking, the new way of responding, and clearly coming from a new way of feeling, which is, which is pretty amazing. It is amazing. What would you say to someone that's thinking about possibly joining us in the Women's Empowerment Incubator? I would say try it. I... Um... It has become much more than I ever anticipated or expected it to be. Um, the joy that I feel meeting these women every Wednesday is, is just a wonderful feeling. I look forward to it every, every week. Um, I know it's a safe space. It's like, it's like, even though we might, you know, uh, discuss some uncomfortable topics. You're with with people who are there, like like a nice soft pillow or you know a nice sofa. You're 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 drinking tea with you know your your um, your friends and and support group. So I would absolutely say tr give it a try. I want to thank you very much for all your comments and for your time today and for joining me. I really appreciate your sharing your story and talking about your experience as part of this unique and sacred group of bright, talented, and aspiring women of which you are certainly one. Thank you, Joan. You're welcome. For those of you watching, thank you for taking the time to listen to my conversation with Kathy, this wise and inspiring woman, as she shared her experiences with us in the Women's Empowerment Incubator and talked about how being part of it helped her to make positive and amazing changes in her life.
If you're interested in learning more about my work, you're welcome to get in touch with me for a free phone consultation. You can also do that by requesting a free copy of my personal confidence assessment and receive valuable tips and program updates by joining my mailing list and contacting me for any of those reasons at info at youramazingjourney.com. That's info at youramazingjourney.com. If you do receive the personal confidence assessment and get it back to me before we schedule a consultation, I'll be glad to interpret the results for you and give you some helpful feedback on how you too can learn different ways to be more confident, empowered, and inspired. If you'd like to receive notification of future videos I've posted on YouTube, please subscribe to this channel and click on the bell so that you can be sure to receive notification when new videos are put up. May your days be filled with inspiring moments. May your heart be open and receptive, and may you continue to have a wonderful time on your amazing journey. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day.